Charlotte here, your host. Um, just a quick video just to say, um, you know, despite all the precautions and everything that I took, um, I, unfortunately, I actually have uh, COVID-19. Um, uh, it's been a week now that uh, I became symptomatic and uh, all I want to say is, is just do everything you can to not catch it because it's a very nasty disease. It's not fun at all uh, in any shape or form. And uh, you know, the symptoms are absolutely insidious. They just keep changing and they, um, they're just not fun. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to put it. Like, I, I thankfully I haven't had Although I have the urge to cough right now, but I haven't been really coughing much at all. In fact, maybe just very few sporadic ones here and there. But um, um, so it's not a huge problem for me. I don't have a huge headache. Well, for one day, I had a bit of a headache, but apart from that, headache is not a major issue for me either. Um, there are a lot of other symptoms that I've had, I've been having, and they've been evolving to be perfectly honest with you. So how it started uh, was I felt like I'm, I'm having some kind of cold or maybe even flu. So I felt generalized aches and pains all over my body. Um, my throat felt just funny, not, not really sore throat, no, but that's, that was the first day how it started. Uh, then the next day I, I was extremely fatigued and uh, uh, extremely tired so I spent most of the day in bed in fact uh, I would say most of the yeah most of the next maybe 36 hours I would say not even just a day uh, so that was also nasty but other than that the symptoms hadn't changed much um, then I would say what happened was um, I eventually lost, <coughs> excuse me, I eventually lost my uh, sense of smell and taste and which has been going on and I would say probably of all the symptoms that I've been having, uh, this is one of the nastiest ones because you know, you, I, I, I haven't lost my appetite at all. In fact, I do feel hungry and no matter what I eat, it just tastes the same. Um, and I, you know, there is no satiety. And in fact, another friend of mine also caught it and they were saying the same thing that, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, you're eating dust. You know, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not the same as when you have a cold or flu. Um, it's very hard to explain, but it just feels very different you, you don't I mean I barely even feel a texture um, per se but maybe that comes with the uh, taste and smell and we know most of uh, the uh, you know satiety or you know the taste of the food comes from sense of smell anyway so it's 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 just very strange. I, I in fact, sprayed myself with the strongest cologne that I have, um, almost in my face, and absolutely, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you at all. And uh, I was, you know, uh, it's, it's very strange. Of very strong smells here and there. I've tried to smell, and I just can't. Um, so. It's a very strange feeling, and I just don't wish this on anyone. Um, obviously, I was trying to not catch it as much as I could, uh, but you know, no matter what you do, no matter how careful you are, it is a respiratory virus, and unfortunately, it might happen. Uh, the development of symptoms after that, uh, well, I, I have, um, my brain is very foggy, I'm very irritable, it's very hard to focus on anything which is not good because I want to, you know, study and but I can't. Um, it's very, very hard. It's, 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 it's a very nasty thing <clears throat> for sure. 
and what other symptoms I've had is I feel like drowning for the past I would say three days now three maybe to four days now I feel like drowning I feel like there's a lot of fluid in my face I'm not super congested per se but um, I do feel like you, you know how when you go underwater and then you yeah bad feeling um, other things I would say probably in fact very strangely uh, in the middle of the night last night when I got up for a bit um, I felt very dizzy very very dizzy orthost orthostatic hypotension I would say I had for sure and that felt very strange and um, yeah but that's not a very recurrent thing I, I had that yeah only last night and I think maybe twice last night but um, yeah once before bed once when I got up no I think it, both when I got up two different times anyway <clears throat> that's all I, ha I want to say uh, the point of my message is I'm young I'm healthy and I'm very, you know I'm not right now but I used to be very athletic before this got me down um, this virus doesn't care okay so it really doesn't care who you are or how you think your immune system is going to react to it um, I've even heard of people who obviously had it and absolutely no symptoms whatsoever so my point is during like you know the days prior to when I uh, actually became symptomatic I do not recall anyone who was symptomatic and I was uh, close to them uh, or even not close to them. I didn't even see anyone, notice anyone uh, who was uh, symptomatic at all. And usually I'm very, very careful, not just because of you know the COVID-19, even before I'm very uh, mindful of germs and all that, but um, here we are. So my point being, be careful, be extra careful. There are measures in place for a reason you know and, and this will disable you for for at least two weeks at least and it's not fun at all it is not just the cold it is not just the flu either and one thing we know about this virus it is unpredictable you know and it affects different people differently some people don't even uh, express any symptoms at all some younger people healthy people unfortunately pass away as well hopefully not as uh, frequently but then you have you know the elderly as well and some of them um, some of them with very advanced age um, you know survive and beat it as well so it's one thing we know is it's unpredictable you know for it could give us different symptoms and you know different people and it's just not fun. <clears throat> I'm not, sorry, I'm not my very, hopefully energetic, usual self, but uh, it's, it's, it's a very nasty thing and, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, I just wish you don't, you guys don't get it. So point of this video is take it as seriously as it possibly can, you can. Um, also, don't let a, don't let this you know any kind of stigma attached to this if you do catch it because it's a respiratory virus there is no stigma attached to it uh, just try to be as careful as possible be vigilant as as soon as you feel like you have any kind of symptoms um se you know self quarantine self self isolate and just do not go and spread it around because it when it comes on it doesn't feel like you have uh, COVID-19 in my case anyway so I, I genuinely thought it's probably some, a cold or a flu even or maybe strep throat usually when I catch that it comes on same kind of feeling so um, you know it's it doesn't start with not necessarily anyway with loss of smell and taste and uh, cough or whatnot, you know, I, ha I have zero sore throat. I've had zero sore throat since the beginning of it. So It's and no cough, you know, I know you just saw me cough twice, but it's very rare And maybe it changes because my symptoms have been changing. 
I don't know. Um, but that's my, my point being, you just don't know. So uh, be extra vigilant, stay away uh, physically from people if you can. Um, from your bubble and take it seriously because it's not you know it's not a joke I mean we knew it's not a joke but it's actually worse than um, uh, what some people might tell you it's just a flu it's not it's much worse than uh, possibly probably one of the nastiest diseases I've ever got um, and I just hope it goes away because you know, I have a lot to do uh, but that, that that's it. I just want to uh, wish you all um, health and stay safe and stay vigilant and uh, take care of yourself and your lovely families. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, stick around as soon as I can. I'll try to make some, uh, you know, more videos. Uh, soon we'll be starting our postponed clerkship at this point. But uh, so that would be nice hopefully I'll, I'll have a lot more to talk about then as well um that's it guys so have a have a great day uh hey again uh, so i just wanted to say if um hopefully not but if any of you guys unfortunately develops covid19 as well uh feel free to reach out because well it is not fun and uh, it wouldn't do any harm to talk to someone who has been through it before um, so, you know, as always, you can contact me for any reason whatsoever. Um, and now add this to the list as well. Okay.